Ta-ta! Hello, kids! Long time no see. Hope you've been staying safe and keeping yourself busy. We're living in strange times, but art never stops. And art relaxes our minds, keeps us focused, and lets us be creative. So we don't get bored. Anyway, today we have another art lesson, and we're gonna be learning about character expressions. Yeah. If we want to draw great characters, then we have to give them great and clear expressions. Today we're drawing four squares, and each of those squares are going to have a different facial expression. So they're gonna be feeling different things, and we're going to show that with our drawing. I'm using my thick black marker to draw these squares. Go ahead and do the same, friends. I mean, you don't have to be drawing squares. It can be circles. It can be triangles or whatever. The shape of the head doesn't matter. What matters are the expressions. So what are expressions really and how do we draw them? Expressions are simply the feelings. When a character is feeling happy or sad or shocked, we understand that basically through their facial expressions. How do we show these expressions? Expressions are created by three parts of the face. Our mouth, our eyes, and our eyebrows. That means if we draw these parts differently on each of the faces, we're going to have different facial expressions. And what do we use facial expressions for? To tell a story, of course. You know we love stories and we love drawing. So, if a character is feeling sad in a part of the story, then we need to know how to draw that character looking sad. If a character is feeling happy or shocked or scared in our story, then we need to know how to be able to draw these facial expressions. Our first character will be feeling happy. So I write that down on the upper left corner. Our second character will be feeling sad. Poor thing. Our third character will be feeling angry. Arr. And our last character will be feeling shocked. <gasps> All right, it's time to start. If you already drew your faces and wrote down their expressions, let's get going with our first expression. Happy. I like to start with drawing the eyes. Because I think our eyes are the key to our feelings. So, I draw two circles for the eyes and then I add the pupils. Next, I'm going to be drawing the mouth as a curve that's looking down. When we're feeling happy, the corners of our mouth goes up. And we're finishing the happy face drawing with the eyebrows. Eyebrows are going to be above the eyes a little bit. And their angle is very important. They need to look like they're pointing up, but not down. Our sad face has round eyes too. But we're gonna also draw the eyelids halfway closed and the angle of the eyelids are going to be pointing up. The mouth of the sad face is going to be exactly opposite of the happy face. So the corners of the mouth of the sad face will be going down. The angle of the eyebrows are the same with the happy face, but they are closer to the eyeballs. And they are curved to the opposite direction with the happy face. Next, we have the angry face. Angry faces are fun to draw. The thing about angry faces is that the eyebrows are right on top of the eyeballs and they are angled in such a way that they look like they are pointing down. Angry eyebrows look almost like the letter V. So if you want to make a character feel angry, just draw a V shape on top of the eyes. The mouth will look very similar with the sad face. We just draw a curve and the corners of the mouth will be going down. And we come to our last expression, shocked square. When a character is shocked, its face looks stretched, which means the eyes are going to be wide open. We place the eyebrows further above the eyes. Their angle will be pointing up and they'll be curved, same as the happy face. The mouth of a shocked character will be wide open too, just like the eyeballs. It's going to be making like this, ooh, wow, wow, ooh shape. And with that, we're done with drawing all the expressions for our square faces. Are we done? No. Of course, we're going to be coloring these faces too, because we love coloring as much as we love drawing. And kids, believe it or not, even colors have feelings. Yeah, 
You heard me right. Each color represents a different feeling, and they make us feel different emotions. I'm using a Yabba Dabba yellow for the happy face. I'll be coloring my sad face with the best blue, because it's kind of feeling blue. Then I'm gonna use a really hot red for the angry face. Arr. And for my last expression for the shocked square, I'm gonna be using a great green. Now, this part of the video will be playing fast, so if you want, you can pause the video, kids, and you can color your faces with the colors you want. It doesn't have to be my colors, you can be creative and you can pick whatever color you want, because it's all about creativity and expression. And that's all folks, next time you're making a drawing, just try to draw your characters with feelings. And try to use these facial expressions to give your characters different emotions. And... Ta-da! Hey guys, how you feeling? Wait, let me guess.